out of Leo Cobb into the longest straight in Grand Prix racing anywhere. And this is Patrick Tombe's moment of glory. His last race for Ferrari. He's in pole position for the third, third time in his life. Behind him, there on the track and on the grid, Nelson Piquet, who is regarded by most people as the hot favorite for the race and behind pk third position on the grid there's the blue and white brabham of ricardo patrese on the left you see keki rosberg as Freddy ardu and alain Prost drive through the picture number 12 is nigel mantel and john watson of course after that pit stop should be starting from the back of the grid now up to the line they come 26 of them patrese fans out a bit They've got the drag from here. They are at the top of a crest, which comes up from the kink, which is a slight right-hander out of Leo Coppen on the way down to Crowthorn. And the ones at the back will actually have to start uphill, whereas Patrick Tombe is right on the crest of the hill. Number 27 in pole position, Patrick Tombe leading the Ferrari team in this race, and this is his 70th Grand Prix. There you see the lights. When you see the red come on for the last Grand Prix of 1983, it will be followed not more than seven seconds later by the green, and then it is go for 100. There's the green, and away and out to the right goes Nigel Mansell. PK takes the lead, but Tracy moves ahead of Tombe as they go down into Crowthorn, and already the two Brabhams are leading. It's PK, Patrese. The Angelis going through and trying to take Tolbe with Prost. Well up there. Alain Prost, the World Championship Limited. It's PK, Patrese, Tolbe, De Angelis. There is Prost. And behind Prost is his teammate, Eddie Chiba. And Nelson Piquet told me yesterday he was going to go hard for the first 10 laps, see how his tyres lasted. And this is very interesting because the Brabham team now are leading this race. Is Ricardo Patrese going to make things difficult for the rest behind him to get past him as the Angelis carries Tombe and enable PK to break away? Yes, Tombe went a little bit wide there into the left-hander. He held his place, but he slowed the others up, and he's got the, the Cesaris climbing all over the back of him at the moment. Who's got Cross behind him, and there is Kiki Rothberg after that lightning engine change as they come now out of the kick. Now they're doing 180 miles an hour, building up to 200 at the end of that one, and it's Nelson Piquet leading. Then Ricardo Patrese. The Angelis is taking Colbe. Cross is right behind him. Then it is Rosberg and Arnu down to Crowthorn. Piquet. Yes, the Chester has got uh, past the Ferrari there, and so did Alan Frost. But at the moment, and it looks like we've had an incident, the marshals were on the move now, there's yellow flags, but the cameras uh, unfortunately aren't in the right place. But um, 